Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and today I want to talk about poop. Filament poop that comes from this printer, the Flash Forge AD5X. Now, this is one of the latest multi-filament capable printers that's on the market. This one uses up to four spools of filament via its IFS or Intelligent Filament System, which means that you can print with either one or more different types of filaments in a single print, or you can use the same type of filament and then just do different colors. That is a very popular thing in 3D printing, but one of the biggest caveats of it, if not the biggest, is the amount of waste that it can produce in the process. Because when it switches from one filament to another, it first has to cut off the filament that it's using and it has to purge that filament out and it needs to bring in the new color and it also needs to make sure that it flushes enough of the old color and the new color so that you can get a nice clean transition and the results could be pretty wasteful. So I wanted to see just how wasteful that it could be. So I decided to print one of these. This little guy right here, this is just a little Venom keychain charm thingy, and it only has two colors, black and white. And it is quite adorable. It is very small. But you're probably wondering, how much poop did this printer have to go through in order to print this Venom with the white symbol on his chest, his white teeth, and his white eyes? Well, I'm going to show you how much poop was needed for this. Are you ready? Now this, my friends, are the remnants of what was necessary in order to print our little Venom here. Well over 100 different filament swaps between black and white to print this guy here. And I'll give you the exact number from the slicer, but as you can see, this massive amount of waste, all of this, all of it. In fact, there's probably even a little bit more that I did not collect because it fell on the floor was necessary just for this little tiny guy right here. Now, naturally, when you look at this and you compare the two, it's like, there is no way that it's worth printing something this small if you have to give up all of this waste. But there are kind of ways to make it more acceptable. For example, you can print multiples of the same thing. So that's kind of what I did. So I have myself a tiny little army of these little Venom keychains. And I could have put more on the build plate, but I just stuck with these here and no matter how many of these I wanted to print at the same time, it was still going to be the same amount of filament waste. The only increase in filament would be for what's needed to actually print the model. But the amount that's wasted in order to switch colors will always stay the same. And here is the block, the purge block or the prime tower that was also needed for these transitions. So now that we've already kind of established that the Flash Forge 85X is really no different than other single print head multi-material systems when it comes to how much waste you're going to produce, let's just see how well it did for these objects itself. Now, Remember, this was just printed with black and white, and white is very easily contaminated by anything, especially black. But when I take a closer look at these little keychain charms here, I think that it was a very clean transition between the black and between the white. And these are really tiny details. I mean, the sky is very small. And just looking at the Venom symbol on his chest, I did paint this in Orca Flash Forge, and I tried to make sure that I got into every little nook and cranny so that there wouldn't be any black kind of hanging out underneath the symbol or a little black patch of his eyes. I tried to make it as clean as possible. And I think the printer did a good job at colorizing all of these white parts without 
much of any bleeding from the black filament and just the precision from the teeth on Venom, little tiny triangles on all of these, I think it did a very nice job. I'm very happy to see that. But in order to accomplish something like this that requires multiple uh, filament changes at multiple layers, this is just what you're going to have to deal with because it is incredibly wasteful when you use the default settings. Now, this is just what I got without doing any purging into the infill or purging into the object or, or doing any adjustments to flush settings or anything like that. This is straight up Orca Flash Forge with its default uh, settings. But even if those settings were tweaked, it, I, I don't think that it would really amount to so much less waste that it would be negligible at that point. It's still going to be pretty wasteful. So even if doing those tweaks effectively cleared out half of the filament, we're still talking about all of this here to make just one of these, unless you just wanted an army of them. And if you were going to print an army of them, then you're going to have to give them away or sell them or do something with them. But yeah, that's just the way that it is. But all of these total took around five and a half to six hours to finish printing. So not too bad. But uh, yeah, that's just something that you got to be sure to prepare yourself for. Make sure that you got yourself a poop bucket or a cardboard box or something handy in order to catch all of this filament poop. And then maybe you can find something interesting to do with it. For example, I made a cool little tabletop using epoxy resin and some filament poop a while back. So you can check out that video if you like to see something that you can do with your spare filament poop. And then there's other models that people have created that can make use of filament waste as well as decorative items. All right. So that's going to be all for this video. And as you can see, I'm still doing some more testing on the Flash Forge 85X. And right now I am printing a little bust with some tweaks to the support settings to hopefully make them easier to remove and if this is successful then i'll definitely will let you know about it but that's all for now and until next time take care of yourselves and i'll speak to you soon